multiplayer 1v1 between myself and Frederick. I will be commanding the British and he is playing as the Swedish Empire. So let's go ahead and look at what I brought. I brought a nine pound. I'll just start to play. All right. Uh, brought some two units of light dragoons, nine pound horse artillery. This is the lifeguard, the tens, which are going to be my heavy cav. Another nine pound foot artillery. We got the King's German Legion first foot, the Green Rascals. These guys are deadly. Next to them, we have the 40th foot, the Exilers. Some Royal Sappers here, which will be deploying the stakes. Next to them, we have the 92nd foot, Gordon Highlanders. And next to them, we have the 27th foot, the Skins. Followed by the first foot, Pontius Pilots bodyguard, the Royal Scots. Then behind them we have the 32nd foot, the Red Feathers, and it's Cornwall's unit. We get, next to them we have the first guards, the Bill Browns, King Zone. And behind them, or next to them rather, we have the Jocks, which are going to be the elite. We also have another unit of Hussars, Light Cav, pushing up. We also have the 44th, the Little Fighting Fours of East Essex. King's German Legion of First Foot. And the 4th Foot, the Lions, the King Zone. This is going to do it for my army composition. Now we've already seen that Frederick has started bringing up his cannon. So we're going to have our cav try to charge. As you can see, he has dragoons waiting for that charge. Which I'm going to try now to get my men back, but we know it's too late. So, what I'm going to do is have them attack and then have the other dragoons still try to get to his cannons. Which they broke just like that. We're going to lose both units to Cav here, so my opening play failed horribly. So that was two-thirds of my Cavs already gone. But now we move the cannons up. Which I don't think they're going to be able to hit. They're going to hit the ground. That's not working out. But we're slowly moving up the lines. And we brought our heavy cab up here to protect our cannons. Sent troops inside the building, which is the Green Rascals, our skirms. While we have the rest of our troops, they're still mobilizing. Go ahead, speed this up a bit. Now we don't really see much of the Swedish. Although here we are, we have some. Seems like their lifeguards are here. Yeah, they have their cannons firing into the trees. So now we're just going to hold here and wait for the Swedish to show themselves. And right here, I'm going to put stakes down to protect the cannons. Swedish artillery are hitting the Royal Scots. Killed three of them. 
We are starting to slowly walk our nine pounder over here into the trees. We have the last of our scouting dragoons pulling back. And we see the Swedish are trying to flank to the left a little bit. So seeing that we're getting pounded by artillery, we're pulling off this hill. We're going to fall back towards the house. But we're keeping the Bill Browns and the Royal Sappers here to protect the cannons. The trees are going to give us a little bit more cover from his cannon fire, but not much. So we're going to send the Dragoons around the left flank trying to spot an enemy flank. Like here we have, we spotted them. So now, naturally, I'm going to send my guys to the left flank to try to engage them. And now we're going to try to rush to get into this house here. Pulling all of our men back from the right side now. We're going to roll up the cannons in a sec, but we left the lifeguards with them. Everybody else is going to move back. As you can see, he's shelling that building, really trying to get rid of them. And here you go. He tried charging his Dragoons, but mine were ready. He tried stopping us from getting in the house, and he was not able to. So he's going to go ahead and lose that entire unit of Dragoons here. Which we owed them that one for killing our first two units of Cav. So now we have our men lined up here, prepared to engage the Swedish while we're still moving our cannons. And we're also still getting our men off the right flank. We rolled up the cannons and we're moving them too. We have the Royal Sapper staying behind to cover their flank. We're gonna roll these cannons into this little tree line here, have them set up in case he decides to flank. We're going to have our main force, three units, match his and push up. We have these guys in the building. Now we have to just delay this main Swedish force for the rest of our guys to mobilize here. Which in this mod, it takes your troops forever to walk and if they're not using a road. So, it looks like we're just about... Here we go. The Swedish are going to open up on our troops. Now we're going to return fire on them. Getting the lions up there as well. Our cannon's almost in position. He's still blasting the hell out of this house. Now we finally pulled the sappers back. Now we have the rest of our men here on the right flank. And we've just seen that he has more men in the forest over here. So we're going to open up on him. Which, seeing that now, we should start to pull back as we, we're getting outflanked here. But, morale on the left side is starting to get low for them. We've killed a lot of them. We're starting to bring up the Royal Scots. The cannons are finally getting into place here, so we're going to unlimber them. Now while that's going on, we're moving the tins and the other cannon around. Starting to bring up the rest of our troops through the forest. It's going to take them a while. Now we can see he has more men on the right flank here. He put his men into a square formation. He saw my cav coming through the woods. Our men in the front are not doing too hot over here. We're getting outflanked and outfired. Which the reinforcements are almost here. They just need to hold out a little bit longer. Our men are running. Well, their unit on the right broke. 
So we're pulling the men back. Which now we're charging the Dragoons. And he was able to get square formation up just in time here. But now we have our cannons in position, ready to fire. So now the idea here is to bait him into the cannons. We gave him a small victory, increased his confidence. Let's see if Frederick gets overconfident now, thinking that he's he's winning. He's going to push aggressively to try to ensure the victory. The unit that broke has came back. We're going to keep walking them back. We want to try to bait Frederick and his army back to where we want him to go. And it looks like he's going to oblige. Seeing as how he has our men on the run, he most likely will commit and keep pushing. And now the main British force is coming from the right flank finally. So we're going to have the men that fell back form a line here. What are these? these are his snipers he has in the, in the foliage over here. Let's go ahead and speed us up a bit while our guys still... I seem to have limbered the cannons. Now these guys are hidden so he doesn't know that they're here yet. Now he's also starting to turn his cannon fire onto this building here. So a couple more hits, this building's going to end up coming down. Swedish artillery is firing on the lines. It seems like I'm moving my cannons out a little bit. And my cannons are starting to hit his lines, so he's going to start pulling back his troops. Now as these cannons back here are pounding his troops, his howitzers are shelling my line. All hope is lost, sir. See that? They're saying that we lost, all hope is lost. And it's not. A good commander can always pull out a victory. Now that house is a quarter of the way damaged. So we're going to keep pulling back as well because we're just sitting in cannon range. And we're going to go ahead and roll. I think the cannons are going to go here. So now this is a stalemate at this point even though the game would tell you that I have no shot of winning. Somehow that didn't hit any of my artillery. So now we're going to go ahead and set up our artillery right here. We're going to move our men up a bit. Let's see, so we sent Arthur Wellingsley over here. I have a feeling that he has some troops in the forest here, so now we're going to start moving the general away. The tins will guard the cannons. This house is 50% destroyed now, so we can't keep them in there for too much longer or we'll risk losing the entire unit. His howitzers are just absolutely shelling the area where my cannons are. So we're having our cannons target. The Swedish have decided to charge my general, but we had our heavy cav here, so we're not going to let him do that. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. 
Our heavy cav broke there. Insignificant cavalry here. It's a nice attempt. He almost got Wellington. That's why you protect your generals. Now we have another two units here in the left side of the house behind the trees. And this house is still getting shelled and I still have not pulled my guys out yet. More Prussian howitzer fire, or Swedish howitzer fire, just trying to kill my cannons, which is not very nice of them. Now our cannons are going to start firing at these skirmisher units here. And this building is starting to get really damaged here. go ahead and speed us up a bit. Now our guys are hidden here. We're waiting for the Swedish to push through. Now with the casualty count right now, there's no reason why he doesn't think he's winning because right now he is. He's killed a lot more men than I did. Here we go now. We're starting to push the right flank into the trees a bit. Now the Swedish now see them, at least this unit. Cannibals are flying right over their head. Now we're starting to bring our men up in front of the house now. We're going to try to get these skirmish units out of the forest here. Now it's still a standoff, and they've brought their cannons up to where my cannons used to be. So my 10 units have found them. So now we know their cannons are trying to flank. The lines in the forest are set to start pushing these skirms out. I have hit a unit of sappers right next to the cannon knowing he's going to try to charge eventually to get that out of play. The house is 60% destroyed now. We need to start making a move on these skirms now. I'm also sending up the green rascals which are my skirmisher unit. Where did my cav unit go? Okay, so we have the tens in the, in the trees over here. So now we started our, our push against the Swedish skirms over here. We've indulged their presence for long enough. We need to get their snipers from continuing to take shots at the house. Which this battle right now is a game of cat and mouse. Each side trying to outthink the other. Now Frederick sees that his guys are screwed, so he's trying to run them away. Which the British shall oblige. We're going to keep pushing. We want to take out those units. Now I'm starting to send my cav units. They're on a mission now to go kill that cannon, but we gotta pick our moment carefully here. Yeah, you know, the Swedish line has come back. So now all of our troops are hidden and we're starting to pull them back. We don't want to fight in the forest. Now once again, these units are in prime cannon range here, which is what my whole 
goal was is to draw his line into the cannon fire here. And as you can see right there, some of the guys just got hit. That little skirmish push on his skirmish was trying to get him to com commit to the push. Here we go, more cannon fire, ripping through his line. Hitting the other line now. Now we're starting to bring the rest of our troops out here. Now we're content to sit here and fire these cannons at them all day. Yep, and he wisely decided to pull back. So we sent another two units to go all the way around the left flank here. We're gonna try to get behind these skirms. Our cannons once again blasting his people to pieces over here. And we still have our tins over here on the right side guarding the cannon. Now this unit is very close to the cannons. Pulled everybody else back. Our troops on the right, or his right, my left, are going to keep advancing to the flank here. While we distract them with these two units here. I'll push them up, have them engage. Pushing the three units to engage these guys as well. As you can see, he's running his troops back, so... He's leaving some of them exposed. And here are his dragoons who are going to be on a mission to get rid of my cannon. Which we have my heavy cav here in the forest. So now once again we're battering his lines. His skirms are still shooting at my men over there in the front. He's charging my men that are in the forest here. My dragoons are just of a much higher caliber of quality here. We'll break his cav charge. And now that we've baited him into that, we're going to go deal with his cannons. These are the crown's cav. He's brought up his iron troops here which we see them, we're gonna pull them back. We still have cab, that was the last of his cab. So he has no more cavalry to do anything about it. Once again here, his men are in cannon range, we're gonna keep blasting him, forcing him to push up. His skirms don't see this coming. At least he hasn't reacted to it yet, but now we're on the flank. Going to open fire onto the sides of his skirms. He is now fully committing to the push now. So now we're going to send our lifeguards to go guard the cannon. We know that they still have a cannon somewhere on the right side. So now he's pushing his guys into the trees which our cannons will continue to fire. What I think he's trying to do is get my own cannons to kill my own men, which is not going to happen. His artillery is still lighting up mine a little bit, but the flank on the right side is starting to pay off a bit. We've lost half this unit here. which now we're, we're completing the grand plan here, which is to get behind his skirms. He's noticed it, and he's trying to turn them. Which either way, he's going to get shot in the back. doesn't matter what way he turns. Our men are engaging the guys in the trees. Which we can't see them. We're just firing into the tree line. Now his cannon is firing at my line. 
Which, we need to go kill this unit, this cannon unit here. Because they're in a good flanking position. We're pulling our men back to bait him closer to the cannons. Canister shot is getting some good shots on their units now. Now the bait unit over here is still holding up. And the flank completely broke their skirms. Get these guys the hell out of here. They don't need skirms anymore. We're going to continue unboxing in their left flank. And now we've broken some of the center. The bait has worked. He's completely committed to the push. We're now, our men were ready. And we're going to take him out. These cannons are in prime position to just unload and rip apart his army here. Now we're going to send the Dragoons out from the trees. He still has another two units here. Which we're going to charge the tens right into their line. Which he got the square formation up in time it seems like. So we're going to try to get them to go back now. His cav unit has come back, so we're going to charge that unit. We've lost quite a few to that volley. We've broken his cav, so now we're going to go ahead and push right for that cannon after we deal with this troublesome unit here. He was not able to get his square formation up. So we're going to push right through. We're going right for the cannon unit. He's desperately trying to stop us. He's not going to be able to. Now, if you look at the overhead view, our men in the forest, the flank is continuing to eat up his left side. For some reason, their men are not letting... I don't know why two, two horses getting hit in the back are stopping the rest from charging them. But, we just broke that troublesome unit here. And now, his cannons are ripe for the pillaging. There's nobody here guarding his cannon, so we're going to go ahead and completely kill half that unit, and now we're going to move the Dragoons. Have them go right for the cannons. There's nobody there to stop it. And we brought up another two units that were protecting the cannons to move up. He's tried to bring men to counter our flank, but we just have too many units firing at his guys in the sides. And our cannons are still putting in work on their troops. He's sending his iron troops to try to kill my cannons, but our royal sappers were here to make sure that that didn't happen. So his cannons, he's going to lose his cannons. That cannon shot missed. So he's going to lose these cannons here. The man of fatigue, sir, must rest a while. Oh, okay, that was bad. But you're still the crown's royal cav, so you're going to finish your job. There we go. We broke their cannons. And our canister shot is firing on this line here. They're not going to be able to withstand. They're in prime range here. Now you see we brought some of our men that were guarding the cannons up out of the trees. We're going to have our cav go back and deal with whatever is there. Our men are running. We've routed the main Swedish line here. They've broken our left flank a little bit. The unit on the end is broken. But while that's happening we still have our units here that are winning in the trees. He stopped firing on the house so we're content to keep. He put too much focus on securing that left flank that we broke his center now. So now we're going to continue to push. Our cannons will continue to fire. We brought the sappers up. His iron troops are still trying to get to the cannon. They're not going to be able to. Now we're having our Dragoons walk behind their lines. Now 
and we just have too many lines now. We broke most of their force. So now I'm pulling the men off the left flank. We're moving them back, trying to draw out. Trying to draw this unit out. So now we're going to outflank this unit now. Every time that we pull back, he thinks he has us on the run and he's just going to fall back into another line of fire here. You can get a nice volley here, it's going to be devastating. Now we broke his, we completely broke his center line. He sees my Dragoons and he goes to square, but those guys aren't the Dragoons target. Their mission is to go and kill the last cannon that's back there. Now here we go, we have them completely exposed here. Volleys being exchanged between the British and the trees and the Swedish, which we broke them. Led them right up to us, got a good volley. We dropped half that unit. Now we're going to continue to keep pushing our lines forward. Our line supported by our cannon fire. Now he has men in the buildings which I did not see so we're going to end up losing this entire unit here. And his last frontline unit here is getting absolutely torn to pieces. He has two units left from the trees. And we broke their iron troops that were on the right. Our men are running, sir. See his men in the building completely wiped out the tens, so now we have no more cav. So now we're going to start moving the lines up here to keep pushing his center line. That's already crumbling. We broke one of the units in the tree line, and the other one will soon break. Continue pushing the lines up. We need to keep pushing the Swedish back. And now we're starting to send the troops on the left flank to completely surround that front line. Our men are still firing into the tree line. We know they're Swedish there. We're going to keep advancing. This unit ain't going to last too much longer. They can't, they can't sustain this. They're getting shot from too many different angles. It sounded like some of my own cannons killed some of my troops, but that's okay. Now the flank over here is complete. He's trying to pull back. Let's get a nice volley on him here. We have another two units going on this flank as well. We've broken this unit, so the flank was successful. They may come back. They still have enough troops to come back. And once again, his iron troopmen are coming back. Or whatever that is, I don't speak Swedish. And once again, we're going to send the skins and the royal sappers to protect the cannons. He's really trying to get those cannons away, but... He doesn't see that we're ready for this. And our men are lighting up the tree line. So now British supremacy will be achieved. We have his, he's pushing up another army into the tree line. We have them flanked. 
And we have two lines waiting for them. They came right into the trees. And we're just ripping them to pieces. They couldn't even get a volley off before they broke. He thought he'd be able to sneak a unit in there and kill my cannon. Now he knows I protect my assets. Cannons are the most important thing in this game. So our Pontius men are getting flanked, so we're going to have them form a line here, and we're going to push up the rest of our lines. We need to continue to push the Swedish out of these forests. We have the Swedish on the run, we have to capitalize on this opportunity, we gotta press them. That was a nasty cannon shot. Somehow those troops are getting up. We're also gonna send the sappers that were protecting that unit. And the skins as well. Knowing they don't have anyone else to threaten the cannon, we can send them up now. Our men are running, sir. The Bill Browns have broken, that's okay. We still have the superior numbers here. That unit of infantry somehow came back, which I thought they would because they had enough people. So we're going to go ahead and send the two units to go deal with them. While we continue forming on their flank here. Now our men in the front will continue to keep pushing start having the skins go on the flank now on the right. We need to crush this. This little forest hold that they have here, we have them outflanked and out, outmaneuvered. Seeing as our troops were, wouldn't engage us, we just sent the footmen to go engage them. And we're going to send the second unit to go line up and break this unit here. They're still in cannon range, so we're going to go ahead and readjust the cannons here. Now the right flank is hitting them. The Highlanders are holding the middle, backed by the Green Rascals, so we're going to do heavy damage there. Our light foot are engaging their line infantry. Now we're just going to keep pushing the lines forward, continue to box them in. Here we go, we broke them. And now our cannons are starting to go to work. That's the back cannons going to work. And now we're pushing the cannons back. Now our lines are going to continue to keep pushing and outflanking. That's how we're going to end up winning this. This battle's almost over. The Swedish are somewhat broken for the most part. Their army is almost all dead. Okay, one of our units <laughs> are out of ammo, so now they're going to become a meat shield now. I see accelerators, so we're going to start pushing them up. The Swedish are continuing to fall back. We're going to keep pushing. We have them on the ropes. So now all they got left really is their cannon unit back here. That I can see right now. Now we're pushing up all units. Their general's trying to run back to the cannon. Cannonball just killed half that general's unit. And now our second cannons are starting to re they reposition. They're going to get a fire on that general's unit. One of their, they have some more of those iron troops here and they're going to be, it seems like they're trying to fall back to the cannon too. We're not going to let them. 
It seems like I'm pulling back my forces. We're gonna reconsolidate them. We're not gonna push up blindly. Our men are running, sir. That unit just broke. They, they're the ones with the ammo, so we don't really care. Gonna pull all the men back. We're gonna regather them. And then we're gonna push as a united front. The only way that I would really lose is if I didn't put them together. If we sent single units one by one, that's how we ensure that we lose to their cannon. Now I'm still aware that they did have men in this house. And they still do, because you, you can't see them, but you see the gunfire coming out of the windows. So now I'm sending three units. Go left. The rest of them go straight up. And we're also rolling up the cannons as well. We're going to bring up my cannons. Let's go ahead and fast forward this. This is going to be the last Swedish hold here. Our army's broken their main force. Now they have to fall back and protect their cannon. This is the last move that they got. But... They still have troops in the trees, we see. They're trying to run, so we're going to go ahead and get a nice volley on them here. These are our sapper units and the, the skins. So they have two line infantry units and one of their iron brigades. That's all they got left. And as you can see, we went focused heavy on the left flank, trying to use the tree lines to protect us from the cannons as much as we can get some cover. And we have the right flank who's going to continue to push up to them. They're going to fall back and try to make their defense in the house. The British forces are now pushing up. There's going to be no escape for Frederick here. Nice cannon shot. I killed some of my green rascals. We're also rolling up the horse cannons to be in range of their cannons. He sees it coming. He's trying to get his howitzers back. He's going to keep the 12-pounders here, hoping he can get some more kills. And so now I set up just outside of range of his troops. And while we gather the rest of our force, we're going to have a united push. And we're going to make sure we come at him from multiple angles. That way he can't isolate 1v1s. The only thing he can do is to push these troops up, try to get them before the rest of the troops line up. He's not going to do that, though. He's going to be content to keep firing his 12-pound cannons. He's also bringing the iron troops to try to protect try to protect the cannons. Now right here, we're setting up our horse artillery back here. And we're going to start pounding his cannon. You, know, you can see the rest of the British troops are coming out of the woods now. My skirms are engaging his skirms over here. Now we're going to keep pushing up our troops. Have these guys attack. His cannons are getting a little bit demoralized here. Now over here we pushed up. Our sappers are getting a little bit worried. We're probably going to lose both these units, but we have the rest. The rest of our line now. We're focusing fire on those iron troops. Now we're going to have this unit go run and try to get to the cannons. Now our cannons are firing. Our men are running, sir. Those are the two men on the right flank they've broken. Which is fine, we have the Highlanders and the other unit. We broke their iron troops. 
Now we're gonna have a united push onto this house. We're gonna make sure we get rid of these cannons as well. There's not much that they can do now, unless they get a decent canister shot, which they're not. We broke the cannons. And we even got the general here now, so be inspired, men. Now we're gonna completely push up and corner these troops in and rip them to pieces. He still has men in the house. Those cannon troops came back, so now we're gonna have Wellington go run them down. Now we've outflanked his troops here. It's gonna be Sweden's last stand here. The morale is breaking, they're taking casualties at a rapid rate now. See we had Wellington go and attack the howitzers that were setting up. And we may end up losing Wellington here, but if he can route the cannons... Our men are running for it's worth it. Now he's trying to charge Wellington, we're trying to get him out of there. The iron troops came back as well. Which right now he was trying to go after Wellington. Couldn't get him. So now we're going to have the lights turn and kill those iron troops. So we broke the other unit. Nice, we just got hit with our own cannons. We now have the men form lines. We're gonna destroy this last unit of Carl Johan Fleetwood's lifeguard. Just have too many volleys of fire for them to one unit to stand up to. They're gonna break any second now. They're facing four to five lines here. And they're taking heavy casualties quickly. This is the elite of the Swedish army too. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. You can see the casualties is raining in for the lifeguards. You won't be able to take much more before they break. And now we're using the light foot as well. Their life grenadiers are coming back, so we're going to have the footmen try to engage them. And we just broke the lifeguards. And our cannons are still destroying our Royal Scots. These guys should be targeting the Iron Brigade. So now seeing as they don't have people in the house, we're trying to send our green rascals into the house. They have men in the house still, so we're going to charge the rest of our units right into the house to take it while we have the first foot engage their life grenadiers. Now they see that Arthur Wellingsley is by himself over there, so he's going to try to take his iron brigade eventually and try to go kill him. Our men are in the house now. These are his skirmishers in the house, so they're not going to be able to win in melee. As you can see, redcoats are clearing out this house. His skirmishers are no match for the Redcoats in melee. As you can see, he's trying to have his life grenadiers run as well, which now we've taken full ownership of the house. Now all he has left are the Iron Troopmen, and he's trying to have them kill Wellington. He knows he lost, but if he can kill the general here, he considers that a win in his book. Something I cannot allow. So I sent the jocks and the, the little fighting fours of East Essex to go save Wellington. 
And we also got the Red Feathers of Cornwall in the back. Now we're going to hold the building, making sure they can't come back. And there you go. It broke. Look at these numbers here. He only killed 504. I lost 681. That means I killed over 100 of my own people. Let's see, the photo artillery, 66 kills. The 9 pounder, 40 kills. The 10's got 120, which is good. 58 kills for a, for a light cab is amazing. Royal Scotch, 134. The Green Rascals almost killed 150. That's good. So I'd like to thank Frederick for this amazing battle. He had me on my toes, especially in the beginning. And as always, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.